This week we're joining forces with the team from New York Magazine. They're out with their latest issue of Design Hunting. It's the magazine that takes you inside some of the city's chicest homes. And we were lucky enough to get an up-close and personal look at a few of them. Hi, I'm Wendy Goodman, design editor of New York Magazine, Design Hunting. I've always been fascinated by the stories behind the way people live in New York City. And that has been the inspiration for creating Design Hunting. It's not only a dream book featuring amazing homes and stunning spaces, but it's also a resource guide for everything you need to know to renovate or build your own dream home. And here's a sneak peek at just some of the designs we feature. Hi, I'm Molly Ludkemeyer, and I'm an interior designer, and welcome to the Bronx. So the biggest challenge for me with this house was how to bring it into a more contemporary realm. I love accessories, and I want to put them everywhere, but it's all about editing. It's like Coco Chanel said, when you're walking out the door, take a look in the mirror and take one piece off, and that's what's going to make the outfit work, and it's the same thing for a room. There are surprises galore. So in the dining room, we took a very classic style table and lacquered it in a very intense Eve Klein blue color that gives the room an enormous pop. And there's chain mail that divides one room from the next. And there is a sculptural crazy light fixture that's very surrealistic on the very classic upright piano. Good design, it's as much about how it feels as how it looks. Each space is different, but it's a balance of old and new, of shapes, of textures. But then there's also a visceral component. What are you sitting on? What does it feel like? Is it inviting? Good spaces are always comfortable and inspiring and a little bit surprising. Hi, I'm Matt Austin. I'm an artist and designer in Bushwick, Brooklyn. As an artist, I like to follow my curiosity. I can never be separated from what I make, so my home is really a laboratory for me. The vision for my bedroom was to create a space that was calm, yet bright at the same time. I like contrasts, and I like juxtaposing those contrasts together. For instance, the calm was achieved with the dark gray, and the bright is really the yellow. Space is really as every New Yorker knows, at a premium. My thought was to use paint to give the illusion of walls. The lighting was inspired by the Greek story of Icarus. People really get up close and examine it. And then I tell them that they can remove the wings and place them wherever they like, and that lights them up, which is fun for me, you know. Hi, this is Dan Wood. And this is Amal Andraus. Welcome to our home in the East Village. WorkAC is interested in important issues of sustainability, but we're also really interested in fun and a kind of pop sensibility. This house is a kind of compression of living. Because the ceiling heights are not very high, they're only eight foot high, so we really wanted to create moments of great section and then moments where the ceiling is much lower. Even though the space is quite small, it actually feels very large. And we like to combine strong color with texture that is more organic, so I designed this rug where the circles are perforated felt, but then the string is fluorescent pink. We use a lot of circles in our work. It emphasizes that connection between spaces that you might not normally think are connected. We also have the good night window, which is a smaller circle for the kids. Subtraction rather than adding is a great way to produce uh, interesting spaces and architecture. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour. You can see more of Design Hunting in the magazine. It's available now on newsstands, but you can also visit nymag.com slash design for more inspiring design tips.